Oh yeah, we just did our dive. So now we're gonna head back and report to Throckmorton, Mon Monkey Man. You recording? Yes, I am now. I, w I didn't record the chat session. I usually just record the gameplay. Ah! Last night was so fun. Uh, we watched The Matrix. Um, the first Matrix movie again. It's been so long and Felix is a huge fan so we all got together and watched The Matrix. And then after they left we watched The Animatrix because I love that one. It was so fun. It was a fun night. Marla, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you. Ooh, different clothes. Where are we at? Flashback or flash forward? Hmm. Cool symbols. Tattoo IDs? <laughs> Mishka, the timing was perfect! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so he had a tentacle growing out of him? Wait, he's still... Is he himself again? He's now wearing the backpack. Let's do it! God, we were chatting for over half an hour. We missed a lot of game time, in game time guys. <laughs> What's this? Oh. All that we see or seem is just a dream within a dream. Isn't that from uh, Kadath? Story of Kadath? Again, they say. Okay, so we're back in town somehow. Oh, dark. Really dark. Um, let's check the map. So we were here. We can remove this. We can take off the compass as well. I think now we just need to go report. Um, where is he? Where does he live again? This one? Yeah. I think so. Tell Robert where the survivors are and start searching for Harriet. I wonder if I can travel closer. A little bit. But not much. Maybe if I go here and then north? Days gone, we were just over 500. Oh, crazy. That's crazy, big man. Whew. Yeah, it's... We we had a crazy jump during E3, uh, probably because I was streaming with Sean so much, and then... And then we've been somehow managing to just keep it up there. I think once, like, E3 hits the one month mark, once that is, like, a month ago, will drop like two three hundred probably but <laughs> but it was definitely fun while it lasted okay perfect i'm going the right way saw your ghost wire reaction video favorite video of the month oh thank you so much <laughs> i'm really excited for this month's uh can i go here I hope so. Jeez, the music is very evil. UK music? Okay, 
There should be a boat here. It's overturned though. Can I fix it? Hmm. Man, the music's so evil. Should we just swim? It's not too far. I could swim straight, probably. See if we can find another boat there. Okay, so swimming costs sanity. So sanity is also sort of like... Um, stamina, I guess. This isn't too far, though. Oh god. Tentacles? Leeches? What is it? I want this boat. Okay. Thank you. That was weird. Creepy. Oh, they hurt me a lot. Jesus. How do I... Oh, I can't while I'm on a boat. It would be cool if we have to go into one of the flooded houses, houses at one point. <laughs> oh, there's a ton of people there. Jesus. Did you guys just all gather here in a bundle? Do you not know where to go anymore? Oh, there they go. They're leveling out. <laughs> Wait, did I go the wrong way? Oh, I did go- I went around it. There's the monkey. Oh, I can't- Oh, oh really? Let me just- yeah, there we go. Perfect. Hello, my friend. I've got news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are alive. They're on the seabed in the sunken ruins. Some sort of ancient temple. They have enough air, but we need to hurry. What happened? Why didn't the sailors help them? Um... Captain Sanders abandoned them, sailed away from the dive point. The fear, the... the visions, they got to him. Sanders. I'll see that he doesn't have long to regret his cowardice. I'm afraid that's not all. The Innsmouthers took the expedition's discoveries and kidnapped the professor. What? Those degenerates. How did that happen? Hmm. The Innsmouthers. They knew about the temple. They waited there, hiding until the professor took what the Innsmouthers call the seal. But how did it's they like the actual animal. <laughs> off guard? It seems that after the seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. Ooh. The Innsmouthers must have known about that, waited for the right moment. Then they made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. Drock. The Innsmouths. Do you have proof they were involved? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet and the artifact she found, but she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. Will do. Um. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. <sighs> professor Doe shared the vision. Professor Doe she sounds so, I don't know. Ruins, and now Doe I guess. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. I just want donuts There's now. There's also a more delicate 
matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. I can be delicate when it matters, so shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. Hmm. I want you to find out why. Sure. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. My watchword? Ooh, Here nice. Is address and an advance for your Fancy words. You'll find it's fair. Bye. Have a good day. Oof, lots of stuff. Um, new case. Quid pro quo. <laughs> that just reminds me of that Matrix spoof. <laughs> Do you guys remember that one with... Oh God, it's so old for MTV. They did that at one point. It was like a Matrix spoof. Um, it's like this little short with like, fuck, Justin Timberlake and I forgot all the other names, but it's so good. And then there's the, the architect shows up in it and then he just tries to be fancy. So he show, he, he uses all the Latin he knows, but it's all kind of stuff like that. Quid pro quo, stuff like that. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so old though by now. Thorgmorton's expedition was attacked in the depths beneath Oakmont. Professor Harriet Doe, expedition's leader, was captured. The others were all left to die. Attackers all had distinctly fish-like features, in insmouth syndrome as the locals call it. One of the assailants was killed in the fight. He carried a dagger and a peculiar golden amulet with, which resembles a fish eye. This can't be the only attack they have carried out. There must be evidence of more of such crimes throughout the city. So that means we are going to look in the news archive I must investigate and discover who attacked this expedition and kidnapped her okay so let's go check the news and it's right there so we should look north we should look around here and see if we can find some sort of uh, telephone booth Nothing there. Maybe this way? Oh, here it is. Perfect. I figured there had to be one right near the low important point, uh, important places. The YouTube comments for this game have been so smart already, like catching so many more references than I could. Apparently the man in yellow is some sort of king from... Fuck, I already forgot the story, but... Um, I think it was this way. Like all kinds of stuff where I'm like, I had no idea. The king in yellow. Yeah, is that was that what it was? Because he was wearing all yellow. Oakmont Chronicle, here we are. Let's see what we can find. Um, this one. Okay. Insmouth Syndrome. We can check before the flood, maybe. Commoners? Front page? If it was an attack. Uh. Mm. 
throughout the city. So it's not any specific district, I think. Let's let's look at front page though. Mm. Maybe just a bay? They live north? I don't know. No. Okay, so it's not any region. Current events? Nope. Let's go back a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, thank you, Kivikum. What do you guys think? What would be a good search? Hmm. I would say current events or front page would be any attacks, but... Try the previous piece of evidence. This one? Well, that one didn't have the archive icon, but this one had the archive icon, so this is the thing that we need to search on. Hey, fire cart! Mm -hmm. Do we try this? It says throughout the city though, so it can be a district, probably. A dagger with a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fish eye. Maybe earlier attacks? Try adverts. This one? Nope. Nope. Or, hmm, maybe if it's an attack, we need to search the other archives, the hospital ones, because victims would have been brought into the hospital. Maybe. Oh, you don't look mysterious at all. What you reading? Wait. It off. Oh, she dropped it. You're not gonna pick that up? Oh, it disappeared, lady. Let's check the hospital archives instead. Maybe there's victims that came in. Found a brick! <gasps> Last of us! I need to break someone? The ground ate my book. <laughs> Can you imagine dropping a book and then just losing it forever? Police archives? Ah, maybe, yeah. Uh, we haven't checked their archives yet. We're only about three hours in right now. Was it again behind him? Yeah. Um, let's see. Patience. After the flood. Maybe who came in for surgery? 
Kirby? Hmm. Maybe it is the police, yeah. Wait, did I select morgue? Oh, that was this, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we need to check the police. Hey, catch! Good to see you! Police! It's right there, so I need to travel back to this one again. <laughs> Can I search you? No. Here goes. Back we go. We said loads really quickly. Let's see if there are police archives we can check. We haven't actually been to the police station yet. Is it this huge building over here? Yes, it is. Wow. Wow. Hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show People up. People have such big Thank eyes Charles in this game. Reed, the genius to crack the case of Albert Throgmorton. Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? Ugh. You and I have a problem, officer. No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department... Well, maybe if you actually idiots, did your job. <laughs> newcomer, you ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. One hour swipe. <laughs> well, can I use the police archive in Ooh. the meantime? Yeah. You can. Yeah, but you're right. Police of archive. Mr. Morton's patronage. And heed me well. You're on mighty thin ice. And I'll be under it when it breaks. You wanna... You wanna sniff my toes? Is that why you're gonna be under me? I am the underminer. I am beneath you, but nothing is beneath me. Okay. So, crimes. How about property? Victims? Criminal pattern? Hmm. Suspects? Would it be a violent crime? Or just a complaint? One of the assailants was killed in the fight. Carried a dagger and a peculiar golden amulet. So, a cult. Can't be only attack. There must be evidence of more such crimes. Violent crimes? Ha! Did it. At about 10.30pm April 15th at the fish market. Haha, <laughs> fish market. I apprehended a suspic suspicious looking insmouther as he was stalking a young young woman. Uh, the suspect had in his possession a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fish eye seized, as well as a dagger seized. The suspect resisted arrest when I tried to cuff him. He, tr he cried for help, screaming for his brothers from EOD. Several other armed insmouthers appeared from the fish market and I was forced to release said insmouther and retreat. The suspect got away. The case is pending further investigation. Phelps. That was it. No more icons. Okay. I think the dude can tell us more about it. Don't waste my time. I'm not even listening to your final words. Ape's bride. <laughs> Seems kind of insensitive to put that kind of stuff on the walls when there's actual ape people. 
Hmm. There's no one else in this uh, in this station, so. Guess I won't waste your time. Let's see. Mm, what's our next step? Find Phelps. Go to the fish market. Eastern Shells, corner of Orchard Avenue and... Okay, that's where we're going. Shell, shell. Shell, shell, shell. Shell, shell. Shells. Uh, Eastern Shells, corner of Orchard Avenue. There. And Holy Fire Lane. This one. Uh, how do I get there? Oh, it's pretty close, actually. Just go left here and then... Cool. <gasps> it's the pet the sink punny. It's a little chef again. <laughs> we can feed everyone. It sure looks delicious. Can I jump this? No, too high. So I guess I'll have to go around. I'm having a lot of fun with this game, yeah. We stand one chef. <laughs> we stand the best chef. This dude looks so weird. He looks like a ripper with the stuff on his forehead. Uh, let's go grab our boat, I guess. Here we go! I love how there's so much shit in the water. It's so accurate for like a city that's half submerged. Mexican food was so good! We knew it was uh, a place we liked because we always we've ordered from there before. I don't know if you guys remember. Oh, they're all grouped together again. See that? <laughs> oh, cat rat! How you doing? Um, we've ordered, t uh, like, home deliver- have food delivered to us from there before. I always call their burritos- <laughs> I always tell Sean, I want a baby burrito! <laughs> Whenever I, um... Let's see... Oh, I'm, I'm right on the corner I need to be at. Um, whenever I want to eat from their place, because... It's- I call it a baby burrito because the burrito is so big, it's like you- you ate a baby. <laughs> and then you have a food baby afterwards. <laughs> oh, but it's so good, it's like... It has sweet potato in it, and feta cheese, and rice, and some other shit. Can't tell you exactly what's in it, but it's fucking great. But yeah. I always say, like, I want baby burrito. <laughs> and he knows exactly what I mean. <laughs> so today we walked into town and we were like, what should we eat? And I was like, uh, and Sean was like, oh, I kind of want Mexican food. So I was like, oh, baby burrito. <laughs> and we hadn't, we hadn't actually been to the place yet. We just had, like, we've ordered from there before. But we haven't eaten from there. So, it was great to actually check out the place. Ah, I'm not in the mood, newcomer. If you want to talk, see Anna. She's in charge here. This is the fish market. Are you Anna? Fish? Yep. Fresh fish? Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy. We have enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Yeah, everyone's like, what the place? fuck are you drinking? But sure. it's just mint leaves. It's I like a mint a representative of the um, EOD. plant. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. 
<laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. Um, EOD. What is the EOD? I mean, oh shit! <gasps> Freakish! Oh my god, thank you so much! <laughs> well, we are no, the baby Brio is like eight pounds, I think. Organization. I guess in dollars, so it's pretty close. <laughs> volunteers. Thank you so much. Yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the situation. Yeah, I had lime and mint lemonade. It was very nice. Oh, how do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also Thank patrol you, the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. Why so generous? Don't call me Charlie. It's been great chatting with you, but I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. Mm. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Shit. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? <laughs> You need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, Charlie. Why does she keep calling me Charlie? Is that my actual name? It's Charles. Charles. Not Charlie. Oh, but you're too sweet to be a Charles. Your adorable, rugged hangdog look just screams Charlie to me. Sexual harassment. Puts a smile on my face. Boundaries, lady. Oh, fine. No! Set boundaries, dude. How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? <sighs> Kill people. Well, I'm afraid my resume is <laughs> in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. Never since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> the sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily, the guards scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is? I think so, right. yeah. Uh, Kayla, I think <laughs> next stream's smart, last one Charlie. of the month. I like it. It's Monday, new exactly. month? Exactly. Oh yeah, Monday's the first. Yep. Yeah, and then Saturday's private stream for Patreon, so there will be lots. There will be lots. Fine. Count me in. Good. Thank oh, you. Skull, thanks for the bits. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password. I serve the C and he'll let you into the storeroom. See you later. Hmm. Sucks that we have to do this. Oh, we got two new Mind Palace clues. Sucks that we have to do this just to get information. EOD helps prevent famine. Without the fish provided by the EOD, the city is at, at risk of famine. Okay. Great. Place this on map. We gotta meet that dude. Western shells on Hawking Lane between Warren Road and Liberty Road. Hawking, Warren and Liberty. Here. Hey, hey, hey. There. Perfect. Um, let's have a look around a bit more here as well, so we can. Um, can I edit that? Yeah. So we can search for phone booths. We need more fast travel points. There we are. <laughs> Perfect. Here we go. East. So now let's go west. Wow, guys. <laughs> oh, fire card. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for gifting to Demon Fox Gaming. Yay. It's dark here. Jesus. Can't see a thing. Still have some ways to go. 
Who does Charles' voice? I have no idea, actually. It's a nice voice to listen to. I wouldn't have minded uh, hearing uh, the voice actor for Jonathan Reed again from Vampire. He's so fucking nice to listen to. Should we take the... Yeah, I guess so. Take the boat. Anchor deck! Oh, you gifted the skull! Thank you so much! Thank you! You're the best! Um, where should we go? Right. What's he doing? Barricading the windows? Oh, look at the boat they made! Holy shit! That's cool. Mm, let's keep going straight for a little bit more. It's very good so far, Goth. I really like it. Very atmospheric. Let's take a right here. I like how there's just these boats everywhere that everyone can use. So cool. See if we can see find a new phone booth somewhere. Um. Hmm. If you were a phone booth, where would you be? New infested area. I don't know what it's in, what it is infested with actually. Haven't really had an explanation on it. Is that a phone booth? Looks like it, but it's closed. No boat animation, no. Getting out of the boat, in and out. You just sit in it and then you're gone. I mean, I'm fine with it. Oh, we've seen this before. Hmm. This little, uh, sorry, this little logo. I've seen it before. That's a big ass tree. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Okay, time to go. What the fuck? Excuse me? So that's what they mean with an infested area. Okay, let's forget we saw that. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> if I were a phone booth, I would probably be at my therapist's office. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Should we go in? I wonder if we can clear out those infested areas. Rad backpack. Hey, Kimmy! Here's that mark again. Ah! Phone booth! Found it! Cool. Now let's go down. Let's go back to the warehouse. Hey, Soul! Thanks so much for the 22 months! Holy shit! Thank you! Getting close to that gold! Should be here. Maybe that dude. The door won't budge. You got Hey, fishy. Here. I serve the sea. I Enough serve the sea. The recent break in. <sighs> sea be praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Can you tell me what happened? Don't skimp on the details. Yeah. Coke's so good. 
Not much to tell, sadly. It was a man, that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies. What a good voice, stairs. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay. But I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane. But I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's a really good that's voice. A bit of a puzzler. Good night, Morgan. What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. The average Joe. If not for his uh, bald head. He was bald, okay. Was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. <laughs> no laws. <laughs> hey, Gavin Chad, how are you? Oh, look at Jesus on the face. <laughs> what did he steal? Uh, I scared him off before he could. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. What's the deal with the the password and such? Orders from the higher ups. I don't get to ask why. Bye. All right. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. <coughs> well, we know he's about Here, my height and he's bald. May the sea bless you. Can I go in now? Okay, cool. Fish storage. Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. Dude must be strong. Why, you want to look at it again? Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Uh, gun? I don't know if I can shoot it through the thing. I don't think so. Or maybe I did hit it. Yeah, I did. Nice. So that's the spitter, huh? Too bad it died face down. Would have wanted to get a good look. Can I reload, please? Thanks. Oh, don't scare me like that. Something down here? Can't care anymore. What the fuck? Bullets? I want bullets. I love bullets. Gimme. Oh, serious? Fuck me. Things dead as a doornail, but Ooh, it's one of those cat things. Ugh. Oh, hey. Can I see it running? It's so First weird. Fish, and now it's dead. <gasps> That's troubling. The fish is poisoned. Okay. Thought I heard something. I'll look into the clue again because I think I can. Excuse me. Why scam me like that? Am I gonna get attacked? Okay. Jesus. It scared me. Okay, there it is. Whatever this thing is, we're gonna follow it. Oh. Can I rotate it any other way? Ah, there. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a oh, somewhere. This is making me stress. Some kind of powder left on the bottom. I bet 
Better not touch it. Could be dangerous. It's fucking poison, dude. Do I have to follow it again? Doesn't look like it. There might still be more clues, though. Gunpowder? Hello? No monsters? Okay, thanks. I would like no more monsters, please. So I can do my investigating. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. That's really cute. Nice work. Yeah. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Dear Mr. Grimes, we can't thank you enough for what you do for the children. In these dark times, your toys go down like a tall glass of water. We all pray for your good health every day. We also kindly remind you that we still await your visit. All our staff and, of course, the children are eager to finally meet our benefactor in person. So please don't hesitate and come as soon as you are able. With eternal gratitude, administration of Oakman St. Jerome's Orphanage. Aw, they're for an orphanage? That's super nice. Oh, there's... I heard something clacking. What was it? See if we can make uh, med kits. How do I craft them again? Inventory? No alcohol. Fuck. Hand grenade. Ooh. That's gonna be nice. Oh, I can craft bullets too. I forgot. But I can't even pick up bullets, so I think I have enough. Let's go. Oh. So he knocked it over. Here's here's where he throws the I'll show you how to mess with us. Yeah. He throws the spear and then he escapes. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Is he the one who poisoned it? Ah, oh, because they want to make the insmouthers look bad. Wait, is there more? Oh, there's one upstairs. Darn pests! May I take them? Okay, let's see what we have here. Hmm. So he grabs the spear and then throws it, of course. What was this one again? I think it just starts with this one. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learned then that one. A bit more. Oh, no. And then he drops it, so the sound of him dropping the thing makes the fish person go like, shit, there's someone trying Darn to steal our pests. shit. So he grabs the spear and he comes down and tries to throw it at him. Come back, you thief. I'll show you how to mess with us. Yeah, I did it. Fish storage poisoned the fish with an unknown substance that made a noise which alerted the guard who chased him out. Mm hmm. Coke's too good. I'm gonna finish it way too early. Uh, mine palace time. Hmm. The man who broke into the EOD fish stores is somehow connected to the university. I need to visit the university. Cool. Poison fish is spreading. Large quantities of possibly poisoned fish have already been distributing distributed to the city's poorer citizens. That sucks. Old and slimy key from the EOD fish store. We found a key? Huh. Mm. Okay. So we this this one is like okay we need to go to university. University. Is it Miskatonic? Oakmont University Library. 
Bogman City Hall. Must be the city library then? University, so maybe? Uh, this one. Poisoner is somehow connected to the university. Place mark. I think that's our next step. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay. This is horrible. Please don't tell me it was my fault. <laughs> Fucking fish from Wind Waker. Uh quartered? Anna will quarter you. You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna, she's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, EOD member or not. That's well, there's no way you could have known. Expected. Huh. I won't tell her don't then. Worry. I don't want my don't fish friend her. to you seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, he makes I'll fucking make children's toys for the orphanage. That Can't have that dude read. be fucking Here's locked up or whatever. Express my gratitude. Take care now. Bye bye then. Still, I've done wrong and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my word. No. All right. Dude's too nice. So, uh, you go ahead and do what you gotta do, I guess. Uh, can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer. Except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. Caramelized eel stew? Give me your map. There you what? go. But don't forget to first report your findings to Anna. See ya. May the sea protect you. Okay, so first we have to go to Anna, and then we'll, uh... We'll go to the university. Oh, there it is. Okay. This one. The first Anna time. Grilled eel is nom nom. <laughs> Wait, what's this one? This is the one I've done. I need to be oh, all the way here again. Let's travel by phone. I've never eaten eel either. It's just the thought of what it is. I'm sure it tastes great. It's just the thought of what it is that freaks me out. Same with fish, honestly. It's the reason why I don't really eat sushi, because raw fish is just like... Mm. I I can't even eat, like, raw salmon. Even that, I'm already like... Ah, ha, ha. I like cooked salmon and cooked tuna, but... Feel the gentle touch of tentacles. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is now a hentai game. For everyone. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a Weren't lot. Weren't we to gonna take our not faith. tell? I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify Blue it. Blue Fox, 39! Holy Secret shit, doctors. thank you so much. That's thank terrible. you. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know. But I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. Okay. Any theories on who might have done this? Any enemies? <laughs> the 
The EOD has a lot of enemies. Wicked people that want to burn this city or drown it in blood. It could be anyone. It could be the police, the Ku Klux Klan, C. It is actually when they said Triple K, once. I was like, it can't be the Ku Klux Klan, can it? Apes. But it is. The, the KKK is in this game? That's scary shit, man. What do you want me to do with the poison? It is the 1920s. I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these I can't even fathom that, that a group that like that actually deal. exists. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome. If you know what I mean. I'll, uh... See what I can do. I don't like her that One much. Thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? Oh, now we have to cover for him. Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me, he deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'm a nice guy. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye, Charlie. Now, refresh. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, I know. You were a student there, I take it. Yes, that's right. I earned my degree there a while ago. Are you surprised? I ah, just a woman in college. To see a college graduate working here is all. I never had the opportunity myself. I could say I'm a bit jealous. You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always Good. accepted women with open arms. See you later. See you later. Okay, so now we have to go north. West. So maybe we should just travel back to this one, see if we can hitch a boat, and then we can go. Educating women? What's next? Letting them vote? <laughs> uh, this one. Oh, that fucking infected area, man. I didn't expect there to be such big creatures already. Okay. Oh, the building's on fire! There's like a little thing. Fire engine. Fire mobile thing, but... No one to actually take it out. Well, I hope it doesn't spread. Bodhi! Is it this way? Yes! Okay. Uh, we can go anywhere, basically. Was it the amendment to let women vote in the US voted in late 1910s? I actually don't know. I don't know any American history. I They taught me in high school, but don't remember. The game is great, Tectonic! I really like it. Oh no. Okay, let's go around this. So that mark, that M thing, means that it's an affected area, I think. So let's not go through that. Let's find a way around. We are not equipped to deal with that. 1919, 1920, women could vote? I see. So this is right around that time. I think this game is in around the 1920s. Can you sneak by the infected area? I should be able to, yeah. You can sneak and then they can't really notice you that fast, but... It seems too dangerous. Um, we should find another phone booth. I bet the university has one. Seems like the place for a phone booth. There's the infected area. Can we peep in? Burn your eyes clean, for the dusk of time is at hand. I don't see anyone. I like how they just like blocked it off. Hello? Ooh, what's that? Burn your eyes 
Are you like a little fish raccoon? Hello, I am here to find big creatures. I want to see big monsters. <laughs> they're there, they're there. How was that? <laughs> cool university. Um, no phone booth yet. Extra, extra! All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, Mister. Keep your eyes peeled for a phone booth, everyone. There should be one around here. You seem like a man who knows sent things. You to deliver me the books, right? Um, no. You must have me confused with someone else. Oh, excuse me. I'm just worried for the fate of these tomes. It's been a week without news from Wendell. Worried of the fate of these books? Let you, reward, but you leave course. them open near a fountain in the rain? Why not? What can I do? Oh, marvelous. Let's get oh, marvelous. <laughs> Samuel Hopes, honorary member of Altera Pa's book club. Charles Reed. Book club? Good, good. Listen, we're missing three rare books. One was taken for restoration while the other two were being studied. I asked Windle to contact all parties, but he's gone quiet. Here's our records. Please, retrieve the tomes. They're so very valuable. Sure, dude. Why are they so valuable? They're the third, seventh, and ninth tomes written by the humble servant. The collection of all eleven books is our most prized possession. The author's real name is. <laughs> Gotta water your books. We know that he was an Oakmonter for sure. Okay, I'm on it. Gotta preserve books, man. Let me see. Hmm. We did these, we're doing those, so this one. Western shells. Inner shrine, inner shine street. This one. Between wind sweep and justice. So here. This one. Um, then there is Western Shells. Is that the one we just did? Yeah. Southern Reed Heights. A single detached manor on Baker Street between Hurricane and Ambrose. Uh, a single detached manor. So this one? Must be that one. Benjamin Miller, clerk in the Bank of Oakmont Lives in Advent. Bank of Oakmont. Where's the bank? Do we know that yet? City Hall. University Library. <clears throat> I don't think we know the bank yet. Find three books and bring them back to Samuel. Yeah, okay. Cool. Closed for maintenance. Don't tell me you're gonna go in. Welcome to, to the University of Oakmont. <laughs> How can I help you? I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the sp specimen? Jeez. Uh, specimen? Oh, oh n n never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You can do it, dude. You recognize this bottle? 
You know where it comes from? Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> we have h hundreds of b bottles like this That's in the all university. folks, yeah. <laughs> oh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, a an analysis. Well, I I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. I always wonder uh, for these kind of roles, like, Goodbye, a lot of times you can hear that it's someone who doesn't stutter, um, who did the voice. But sometimes it sounds pretty genuine. This one doesn't sound super genuine. But I wonder if sometimes they just, like, hire people that actually have a stutter. That would be cool. To get it, to get it, like... I guess authentic will be the word. I'm still just also looking for phone booths. Paul Giamatti and the lady in the water had the most realistic stutter I've seen in a movie. That's true, yeah. That was a very good one. Realistic. Hey, July! Good to see you! Man, I don't see a phone booth Any? What the fuck is this? Where is this medicine ward? Slash building. Right where I was headed. <laughs> that phone booth must be near here though. Here we go. Hello, sir. Hi. Welcome to Oakmont University Department of Medicine. I'm oh. Sam. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Uh, could you do that for me? These tests aren't the cheap. old um, In the other day, it movie. Right the stutter is also uh, pretty realistic. Somewhat hindered right now. Billy. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong, really wrong. So if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me, for free. Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Hmm. Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Can't wait for it. Yes. Yeah, it chapter we two. All problems, I'm I'll excited. The Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. EOD is banned. Hmm. To all staff and students of the University of Oakmont, henceforth any mention of everyone's obvious duty. Oh, that's what it stands for. Organization, also known as EOD, its Volex current and or past members as well as espousing their beliefs is forbidden on university grounds on pain of dismissal and or expulsion. The administration has received numerous reports of EOD activity and outreach disguised as so-called charity work. Throughout our university and all over Oakmont, it's da this dangerous activity has reached epidemic proportions and cannot be tolerated. Wait, why not? The door won't budge. It's volunteer work, isn't it? They're just helping people. Here we go. Okay, lots of creatures. Maybe I should just shoot them. Who 
Ooh, they're fast boys, though. Shit. Let's take a little mental break. Spit boy, where you at? Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, how do I use that? Okay. Nice headshot. Lab is clear. Cool. Experiment log. March 2nd. I have s finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's only the smallest one. The grunts call it Mr. Handsome, but I think it needs a proper name. I like Mr. Handsome. So the tiny ones are Mr. Handsome? March 3rd, so the next day. Was thinking about the name for the specimen all night. I began a series of experiments on the creature. So far, it has proven exceptionally resistant to all the poisonous substances at my disposal, as well as acid and elec electrocution. Its sh shrieking, though, is bound to haunt me. Two days later, last night I had a vision. Thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket, and I heard the name inside my head. Stygian Harvester. That's the name? What kind of person would even touch this? I like Mr. Handsome a lot more. It. Let's call it Mr. Handsome. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I or shouldn't I? Jeez, dude, calm down. You haven't even lost that much sanity. So very tempting. Where does the, where did the cables lead to? March 10th. With those pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiments unhindered. I need to know more. Specimen remained alive even with half, half of its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in bio biology as we know it. March 15th. I developed a way to reanimate their tissue even in one that's been dead for weeks. Reanimator. This is monumental. The possibilities of it, the implications. Does this hint at something hidden? Some trait present inside their creatures, inside other creatures, and perhaps even ourselves. I will need to find volunteers. So the box lead that this leads to this red thing. Oh my god. What are you? <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? This doesn't cost you sanity looking at this? <laughs> I'm glad this thing is oh, dead. Oh, it does. I'm draining. I'm draining. Don't look at it. Just forget about it, dude. That's a good boy. <gasps> Medkit! Nice! Perfect. How nice of the game to give me one here. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. Looks like... That's about it. We should turn on the machine. We should power up this beauty. Do it. Oh, <gasps> it's got Ooh. Oh, it broke out. Oh, it's time to go. Fuck. Bye. Basement's clear. Should I kill it? I can't. I don't even have a grenade. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. Um... Dude, I made a mistake. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. Oh, he doesn't like me anymore. The door won't budge. Well then. Big 
boy. Oh god, Jesus Christ. It's clipping through the wall, I can hit it. Oh god, he's spawning little ones. Oh god. Oh no. They're like blackish. Okay, they go down to one hit. Dude, I I did an oopsie. I didn't mean to. It was such a big button, I couldn't help myself. Do you think it just will go away after after a couple days? Oh, he's stuck now. Did you die? Oh, I killed it. I'm so glad it got stuck. I would not have been able to kill it otherwise. Oh, I got so many experience points. Two knowledge po Oh. Um... What should I do? I got this one, didn't I? Carry up to 25 pieces of crafting materials. That's fine. Hmm. Small chance to save materials when you craft something. Earn more experience and stay sane for slightly longer. Yeah, I would like more experience. Double quest reward. Ooh. Gain more experience from all sources. Maybe I should just do that so we can level up quicker. There you go. Oh. Bye. Okay. Let's hope we can talk to the dude now. Clear the lab. Your lab is certified creature free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Your lab was, uh, interesting. Running experiments on those creatures. What's up with that? Oh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Mm. Convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree. I wouldn't say fascinating. Famous for taking an interest? Maybe not. But so much dead flesh down there, that's going to attract scavengers. Didn't you think about that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> yeah, well, well, no. <laughs> be more careful in the future. Your point's taken. Okay. I've done my Ooh, look at the scars in my Here's neck. Or are those... Am those I tests. getting gills? Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. Thanks. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. 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 A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. Well, shit. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here for study. In our poison store. Shit. Or we did. Do you have I'm a bald colleague? That must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs. Right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Hmm. Professor Cavendish is away as well. Maybe that's how he vacation. got the key. And where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait. 
You don't think it was one of them? Well, he must have gotten the key, at least through them. let me upstairs? I... well... uh, All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key. But please don't disturb the professor's things. (laughs) Trash the entire office. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. I'm getting really party. interested in the Sherlock Holmes before. game that this well, company has made here. Yeah. He's 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city. It actually yeah, came for free with the pre-order. And I, I pre-ordered the game and then no I got the game for free, but my pre-order didn't get cancelled. So I still have the Sherlock Holmes game as well. For his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. Some secret should stay buried six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. Crime and Punishment and the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Both are quite good. Are they by this company or different companies? What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. Hmm. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Both by this company. Worthy of a cool. Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. And what's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable. And easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially... Oh, Devil's Daughter, talents. yeah. I've heard of that one. I'll see you later. Okay, now we can go upstairs. Maybe we should go back to that warehouse and pick up those bullets that we couldn't pick up before. Oh, I got a pistol around though. Yeah, reload that baby. Close so maintenance shouldn't stop us. We can still go in. No, from Professor Westerbrook. This is absurd. It's been five months and they still haven't finished repairing my office. I'm done sitting in the corridor like some kind of waiter. I won't step foot into this building again until the works are finished or you give me Cavendish's office. You tell that to the board. I'm through with this farce. So that's why he's on a holiday. <sighs> the door won't budge. Hmm. Guess I don't have a key for that. Cavendish. Oh, there's something here. <gasps> Wait, I can't inspect that. Brothers and sisters crossed out. Too familiar. My fellow Americans crossed out. They are Americans too. Citizens of Oakmont, how much longer will we put up with those fish-faced bast? Those sea freaks? How much longer will we put up with this? Those K-forsaken degenerates who call themselves the EOD. Hmm. Okay. Can we look at it now? Ah. This should be good enough to make a decent copy. Ah, that's how they did it. What am what am I what am I hearing? I thought I heard someone moaning. Um Hmm. Is it Cavendish, though, who made the spare key? How do we know it's him? George Cavendish, professor at Oakland University, is the poison thief. He made himself a copy of the key to the poison locker. According to his student, he lives somewhere in Advent. Uh, how do I... There. Oh, this is an archive one. He lives somewhere in Advent, according to his student. Maybe there's university archives? That's what I heard. I heard this dude. 
Hmm. <sighs> the door won't budge. Hmm. It wants me in there, but I can't. Shoot the lock on the door? Oh, maybe I can just melee it. The door won't budge. Sure, it sure These budged. Look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Cool. Thanks for the tip. I thought I had to find the key. Yeah, open the door. This is impossible. <laughs> now try the mine palace. Oh yeah, right. Because we have all the. Hmm. No, we don't have all the clues yet. But uh, I'm thinking there might be like archives. I'd like to know what do. You hmm. I'll see. That's the same. Any archives here? No. There must be somewhere, somehow, we can find out the address of George Cavendish. He lives somewhere in Advent. City Hall archives. I'm, I'm thinking there's like either university archives or City Hall archives, yeah. Maybe the stutter dude knows? Something I can help you with, sir? Something I can help you with, sir? Apparently not. And well spoken, my dude. Some books can be really mind blowing, don't you think? There will be city records of some kind, maybe at the uni, yeah. There's no other building we can go into here, though. This would be an obvious choice, but there's no mark on the door, so... This is not a building that can actually open. Maybe this door, but I don't think so. Nope. So, let's see. Let's delete that one. Poison thief lives in Advent, but yeah, maybe let's see. Oakman City Hall, City Hall might have personal records, yeah, of who lives where. Should we try that? There's a shovel on my backpack. I just realized. I never even looked at the backpack properly. I should also keep an eye out for phone booths still. I haven't found one yet for this area. Is it? I really want a phone booth for this area. Before we actually leave it. Maybe the newspaper? I don't think a newspaper would like be like this person lives here and here. Workplace maybe, but
Run around the university road. Yeah, there should be one around there, I feel. The people, the only thing, like, everything looks so good, the buildings and stuff, but the people seem a little bit disconnected from the map. They just spawn a little bit, like, they spawn all together and then they kind of just walk aimlessly somewhere and turn around. They don't really do things. Nothing there. Should be one around here for sure. I hear again, see they like Oh, and now he's just sitting. They kind of just like spawn when you get close to a certain point and then it's like, well now we'll just walk to in a certain direction and probably disappear again. I mean, I get it though, it's hard to do. Extra, extra. But all the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister. As buggy as um we happy few was that at least had like a bunch of people walking through the town. God damn it, where's this fucking oh I discovered it apparently. Oh here it is. Ah, <sighs> okay. Now we can move on. So the exact opposite way. They struggle with animations, which is likely why you just pop in and out of boats and stuff. Yeah. It's probably too hard with like a bunch of variables to make it like, to make it work consistently. So they probably just skipped it. I mean, I totally get that though. And for me, it doesn't ruin like how good the game is for sure. It's like the only thing I can think of that feels out of place playing this game. That's all. Yeah, I really like the game so far, Jay. I, I'm really into it. You can tell. I mean, people left YouTube comments as well being like, wow, Gab is like paying attention, not talking over characters as much and like knows what to do. She really likes this game. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's how you know. Oh, this is good. We'll grab the boat. I enjoy Frogwares games, but you should definitely know that the graphics will be janky. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, a, it's probably a really small studio, isn't it? How big is their team? Uh, left. Emma. Hi. Okay, almost there. Just caught, mister. Just caught, mister. Ooh, this looks like a nice building. I think it was on the other side? Yeah. I'm behind it now. Don't know how big they are, but they have headquarters in Ukraine and Ireland. Hmm. Interesting choice of place. Place of choice. Yeah. That's how you say that. It's so dark here. Why is it so dark here? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Oh, you when you blink, you your eyes go all the way down. Just wanted to say hi. I'm new in town. Oh, how nice for Archives. you. Archives. If you need to look anything up in our archives, get in line. 80 like people or so. It's still pretty big though. But yeah, for an open world, 80 people is probably not much. Well, if that's the way it is, then 
that's the way it is. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. When she blinks, her eyes shoot all the way down. Bye. Bye. Archives, please. Poison thief. He is a citizen. After the flood. Registry. Citizen records. From Atfund. Oh, I did too many. George Walter Cavendish, on 1883, Oakmond, Advent Central, Michaels Road, between Carpenter Street and Constitution Street, flat two. Divorced. Got him. Mm, this one. Advent Central. St. Michael's Road. This one? Between Carpenter and Constitution. So right here, I think. I wonder if there's anything here we can search in the building. We did it! Can't believe I released that huge creature. <laughs> it took me like four tries to push the button too. The game was like in every way like, you don't want this. <laughs> Check for the other professor too. Why would I? I don't think I have a... Um, a thing, an icon that says I should look for him. Do I? No, no archive icon. So, I'll stick with this for now. This is what happens when you press mysterious buttons. Yeah. I got a nice XP though. You don't- I have his address. Cavendish. Place of re residence. That's it. Reading books is often the biggest risk in uh, Cthulhu games. Yeah, totally. Okay, I'm going the right way. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister. Don't. So fucking dark here. Don't see a phone booth yet. Okay, this is crazy dark. Why is it so dark? Can't even see anything. Okay. I honestly can't see anything. Can I? Okay, that's a tiny bit better. Part of Gavendish. Okay. Let's see where he's at. The darkening. <laughs> oh, baby. If you want to take it, it's free. Hello! I saw the door is locked, so I opened it. On it. This ring hasn't been worn in a long time. And why keep it around? Memories! kidding me? I have three bullets on me. Why wouldn't I be able to carry more bullets? I had way more on me last time. Butch. You burned the picture. You. I always loved Maybe you. it's bullet parts. Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe I should craft some. 
You're right. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell. Um, shell casings. Yeah, that's it. So the revolver is stronger, powerful, and is this normal pistol? I pistol rounds. Some deep it's good. family trauma here. Yeah, there we go. Good. Music, please. Professor's fact list. Westerbrook usually has his lunch about half past two. Get some soap. Uh, this is for his plants for the key. Anna always stays at the fish market. She shouldn't learn about me. New hauls of fish arrive every two days. An ounce per box will be enough. Guard spends most of the time on the second floor during the night. Think about a way to divert suspicions uh, from Westerbrook. Don't want him to come to want, don't want him to come to any harm. Don't forget to return the flasks to storage. Think about Plan B. The stir is in the shells as fighting breaks out between locals and insmouthers. The cause of the conflict appeared to be the disappearance of several women, with locals accusing a group of insmouthers of the crime. Oakman police continue to investigate the vanishings, but as yet the case remains unsolved. One source from the shells reports that traces of fish scales and seaweed were found at multiple victims' houses, homes, which, sir, which seems to have precip precipitated the fight. Hmm. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. Okay, that was this. Looks like I got what I needed. I haven't found him, though. Um... What do we want to do? What does our casebook say? Our mind palace? Mmm, still the same. What's our next step? What does the game want us to do? We found where he is. Hmm. Check the house with your vision? Just a little bit. Oh yeah, it's not like all things collected yet. <sighs> the door won't budge. This Cavendish guy yeah. did an impressive investigation. This is what you meant? The is in the center of all of it. Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh! Fuck. Going, going, gone. Body count raises as vanishings continue across Oakmont. Locals are in a panic, with most of the reporters' disappearances occurring in the Shells, Salvation Harbor, and Grimhaven Bay. Captain Caleb Lyon Leon? Leon? of the Oakmont Police has put out a call for information. Our evidence suggests a link between these disappearances and the charity organization EOD that has recently risen to prominence among the city's poor, said Leon. Most of the victims seem to have either joined this group or been a recipient of their al al alms. We encourage everyone with information to come forward. Chronicle reminds readers to avoid any suspicious newcomers, especially in smothers, and to remain at home during evening hours. Stay alert. Really? That's the thing I missed? This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation. And the EOD is in the center of all of it. Oh. God damn it, that one thing. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something oh. I have to tell you. Yes? What is it? I don't care what your damn Anna. EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine. <laughs> mine! Did she get a fish baby? <laughs> You will never understand our cause. Yep, fish My baby. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. Okay, let's see what we have here. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands. 
George, I can't... You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! George, I can't live like this anymore. I don't care what you're. You will never understand our cause. Something My fishy is going is on here. <laughs> I'm leaving you, George. George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. Ooh. Vision time. God, he looks so cool. I love his character design. Oh, upside down. Topsy turny. There's a huge face behind you, dude! <laughs> Fish guy! Eee. Ah! Don't eat me! Who... Who are you? <gasps> Bald dude! What, what are you doing here? You're my man. Calm down. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Right now, you look like someone who's... Breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. I explain yourself. Kimikum, good night. No, Cavendish. Time for you to do some explaining. Care to tell me why you poisoned the fish at the EOD warehouse? And you better not lie to me. Oh, sorry. Is this making you angry? <laughs> yeah, two can play at that game, and believe me. I've got plenty of anger oh, for the both of us. I'm, I'm a, How dare I'm a you? badass. I'm only going to ask politely once. Then my gun will do the talking. Oh, shit! Fine. Fine. Yes, it was me. But I had a good reason to do it. It all comes back to Anna. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see... Not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor <laughs> that little that gesture. The EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking He's fear been doing and trust. Damn, dude. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain sons a squeaky fishes. clean sons image of hagfish. They're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. What's Anna got to do with we, all this? We know it's his wife, ex-wife. As you might have already gleaned she is was my wife uh-huh yeah it all starts to come together now the eod robbed me of her it all started with the free fish we were all short on food at the time and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea hooked her greater good oh the fish do some fishing I past it for some time thou great thou good she became pregnant Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea. That it was demanded Fishing by for the compliments. EOD. <laughs> Do take them! Hey, Brain Farmer, hello! It. I just couldn't! Mm. 
So what's your next move? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all Hell the no, facts, dude. They I seem like a good organization. Would you agree what do you guys me? think? E EOD good or bad? What did she mean? Blessed by the sea. What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth syndrome in people? Uh, EOD is bad? Living in Innsmouth? That K forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. Yeah, These he shouldn't have poisoned people. They call deep water. They're still handing out free food. They take our woman and they spoil them with their seed. Ooh. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. They're kidnapping people, maybe? Yeah. Where did you learn all this? This information about the EOD. I don't just want to take his Adam word for left, it, though. I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Ah, uh, perhaps not coincidentally. No, uh, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. Hmm. The D on EOD stands for Dagon. It didn't, didn't it? Did it? Oh fuck, what was it? I forgot the what this st stood for already. Um. I just don't like this dude because he's poisoning food that goes to hungry people. They have amulets, special daggers, there's disappearances, demands for babies, a sudden organization. They're definitely a cult. Yeah, that's true. Um, fuck this dude. First option. Yeah. He... I don't think he deserves he to die, me. but... Now what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. Hell no, dude. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just The fish isn't fish going to EOD, so no. That's your target. Mm. <sighs> Fuck. I am not going to poison the fish. You're a madman, Cavendish. You're willing to let innocent people suffer and die just to get revenge on your ex-wife. No, this madness has to stop. And I'm gonna put an end to it right now. Oh, no, no. You, you don't I hope understand. I don't shoot him automatically or something. <laughs> just leave. Ah, uh, I have to kill him. That's not a weapon. Something flew by my- oh, it's a butterfly! I wasn't gonna poison the fish. Couldn't do that. Um, killed him, now I must return to the fish market and speak with Anna about upholding her end of the bargain. And something happened. Glorious dead. Thanks so much for the two months. Thank you. Mm. Zealous servant of EOD. Anna is the zealous servant of EOD and she will follow any instruction without hesitation. Um. Hmm. George sabotaged the EOD. Poisoned the fish to undermine the EOD's charitable operations. Yes. Is that all the clues? No, there's still more. Maybe we should speak to Anna now? 
Will that be the new clue thing? Butterfly, what are you doing here? It's a moth, I think. You gotta go back outside. You should be able to refuse him without declaring you'll kill him. Hmm, fuck. Well, I killed him. Still telling me to go to Mind Palace. Desperate savior. George Cavendish became desperate after EOD robbed him of his wife. He's determined to save others. George Cavendish is a dangerous psychopath who won't have... Yeah, this one. Anna is covering up the EOD's shady ambition to take over the city. Anna does honest charity work. I think she's a bit of a liar, though. It's still telling me to go to the Mind Palace, but there's nothing there, dude. I can't do anything with this. Not blaming Gab, but just annoyed by the game's false dilemma. Yeah, I, I was I was worried that if I would listen to him too long, I would get stuck in poison option. But... I get around 1,000 coming in every time I open my door after dark, yeah. <laughs> um, there's nothing we need to do here anymore, right? Don't think so. I had you bargaining with him over the poisoning or declaring he must die. Yeah. Mind Palace, would you stop popping up? I clicked on everything. I can't... I can't do anything anymore. Where is my phone booth? Right. Why won't the... probably glitch? Yeah. It's weird that it doesn't go away. Yes, yeah, a tiny moth. He's sitting on my wall now. Did I miss it? No. There's three really cozy people there wedged between the car and the wall. Okay, so to Anna. Your conclusions aren't conflicting to the game? I don't know, maybe. Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. I found the poisoner and dealt with him. He won't be bothering you anymore. Oh, see, bless you, Charlie. That's great news. Who was it? Well... Oh, see, now that's the interesting part. It was your ex-husband, George Cavendish. Oh. Well, that son of a rotten shark finally got what was coming to him. Good riddance. She doesn't mind. Still, it's strange. I never thought he'd have the guts to do something like this. He was always a pushover. Damn. You're oddly calm. You're taking this remarkably well for a woman who just found out her ex-husband was a poisoner. He's nobody to me. The EOD is my family now. We serve a higher purpose than he could ever grasp. My life finally has meaning. You've done us both a huge favor by relieving him of the burden of his miserable existence. Well done, Charlie. All right. No more messing around. Get me in touch with your grand poobah or grand in poobah now. Easy there, Charlie. Oh, light. It wasn't of my word. Go to the basement of the fish market. It's nearby. You'll find an inn smather there by the name of Maurice. Tell him I've sent you. You'll get your answers. <sighs> About time. Okay. You want a fishy? <laughs> you want a fishy? <laughs> you want a fishy? Whoa. 
That's a huge fucking crab. Jesus. No, thank you. Um, I'm looking for a basement. Here we go. Box like that means there's probably fighting. What's that clicking? Ooh, Jesus. Fuck. Fuck. Almost died. Oh, well, she tried to set me up. Surprise, surprise. Should I just read the note? Nothing else here. I think she's gone up top. Anna asked me to contact high ranking member of EOD in some other named Maurice. I will find him in a basement. No to Maurice, kill him. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. Yeah, maybe it is because it's conflicting. Maybe now it'll stop. It doesn't. Hey, hey, Mr. Reed. Do I know you, buddy? Not yet, but I know you. I also know you're looking for a particular lady. My name's Fred. You're looking for a Professor Lowe. Ain't that right? The scientist the order kidnapped. I think we can help each other. No, it's mean? finished. You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. <sighs> Nothing's for free in this city, is it? Figures. All right. Shoot. You won't regret it. You've seen some of the city now, am I right? You've been inkling what's coming? I want out of the order and the city before it hits. Hmm. Trouble is, it's much easier to get into the order than to leave. Give the slightest hint of it. You signed your death warrant. I need somebody to get me out of the city on the quiet. And that's not an easy thing these days, my friend. <sighs> I've no idea how to help you with that. Ain't you a detective? There are people in the city, smugglers, who know what to do. Find them. That's how you can help. See, I've heard whispers hey, about ads in the newspaper. A new ad every week. Moth talking flying about again. Salvation Harbor. Maybe start there. All right, fine. I'll look into it. But your lead on the professor had better be worth it. I know where they've got her. I can get you there. You just find me a way out fast, or I might be too dead to be any use to you. Damn. Okay, reporter Mr. Throckmorton. Anna's just gone now. Gosh, she just left. Okay then. Mm, where is he again? This no. Here. I love the little loading icon. So cute. Tentacles. Hey, pill. What's your problem? What's your problem? Sucks that I kind of half fucked up this case. I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. Esoteric it's Order of Dagon. organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Most of them stick to the fish market, but they seem to have agents everywhere. Even the university. 
I knew there was something fishy about the EOD, the den of those filthy in-mouthers. I'll tear it to the ground. Actually, most of the EOD members I met were locals. And for what it's worth, the only Innsmouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You ought to examine your prejudices. Are you calling me a bigot? Sure really? am. Yes, you're a bigot. Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You holding a grudge against Innsmouthers ain't making anything better for anyone. Those who fan the flames of hatred always end up burnt in the end. They oh, killed my son quote. for Kay's sake. I know. But what did you do to prevent it? You made yourself their enemy instead of helping them. What did you expect would happen? You chose to brand them newcomers and leave them to suffer just like you did with me. The only difference is that I'm useful to you. No wonder desperate Innsmouthers would seek refuge from a radical organization like the EOD. They had nowhere else to turn. I shall think about Aww, what you've said. Good. Ah, good. Back to business. He can learn. I'll continue my search for Professor Dow. I have a promising lead. You have anything else to tell me? Your task remains the same. Find Harriet and bring her back. You say we are dealing with an entire organization? Well, I have something for you that might help our cause should things take a turn. Now leave. I've heard enough from you. Hmm. His newspaper just flopped into existence. <laughs> Here we go. New case. So I guess the other one is closed now. Fred told me he knows where the EOD is keeping Professor Harriet Doe, leader of the lost expedition I am seeking. He won't tell me the location until I arrange safe passage for him out of the city. He suggested using local smuggling ring. He believes that the smugglers communicate secretly using advertisements for a salvation harbor in the local newspaper. Most likely it's a new message each week. Okay, newspaper. This is a great game, pal. It's a little bit hard at times. Oh, Kayla, thank you for the bits. Hard game at times with like... It doesn't hold your hand at all. It doesn't really tell you where to go exactly. Just enough so you know what to do next. Um, but, like, it doesn't automatically put stuff on your map or anything, so... Can you equip a shotgun? I don't think I have one. Maybe? I do have a shotgun. I didn't know that. <laughs> <gasps> Separate Miles! Thanks so much for the raid! Thank you! What were you playing? Thanks so much. Ooh, I like your logo. Nice and clean. That's a bunch of tattoos, dude. Damn. Baby doopy 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 doo. Press a latent sound. Yeah, it is. Okay, um, advertisements for Salvation Harbor. Time has come to send Toothless Bob on his final journey, this time to the Seven Oaks Bar at the crossroad of Calmshore Street and Salvation Road, Western Salvation Harbor. There we go. I'm basically a pro at this point. <laughs> I wonder if they'll re-release Professor Layton for Switch like they did with Phoenix Wright. Oh, I would be so happy. That would be awesome. I love the first three games. After that, I kind of lost interest. They kind of changed up the style too much. The look of the game. Like, they went, like, 3D animated instead of just the cartoony, the just animated style. Seven Oaks Bar, Western Salvation Harbor... Seven Oaks Bar, intersection of Calm Calmshore and Salvation. Here. Uh, 
We have no fast travel points near that. Um, hmm. We could travel here, but it's not even worth it. We can just take the boat and go... We can follow this all the way to here, I guess. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's go for a boat ride. Cried at the end of the third game. Such a nice ending. Aww. The first one's still my favorite. It was such a cool mystery. I was genuinely, like, intrigued on how it was gonna, like, tie it all together. First one's the best one. Bye, Kayla. See you later. Um, let's see. Let's go through Old Colony Street. What the fuck is this? Is this a whale? Oh. Damn. Oh, July. See you later. There's another one. Jeez. That's cool. I'm gonna fuck up this fisherman's thing. Ugh. Um, okay. I'll go straight, and then left, and then right. Oh, the the boaty! Hi! What's up? Don't mind me. I think I need to go this way. Yes, now just straight. If it weren't for all the garbage and dead whales, this would be a cool place to live. Um, well, and all the water damage. All these houses are probably inhabitable now. It must be so stinky here, yeah, bunny. It's crazy. I can already smell the fish through the screen. Oh, that's an affected zone, though. Maybe go to the right? I wonder if we can clear out infected zones later on. Fishy smell, like a fishy rotten smell. Maybe left here? Nope, still infected zone. Oh, I heard someone coughing. Whoa, things are going crazy. You can't fly, chair. You can't swim. Stay put. Ah, people. Here we go. New area. I'm ready. Boat motion. Uh, this map. Oh, yeah. The effects area is already mapped, right? Yeah. Otherwise, I would go to it for some points. Oakman seaweed tobacco. Relax, breeze out. Breeze out, man. Booth, booth, booth. <laughs> yes. I get to smell a booth. Where's the booth? Um, Where would it be? Probably around here somewhere. Church of Redemption. Damn newcomers. Oops, sorry. I wasn't really looking where I was going. Booth! Gotcha. <laughs> extra, extra. Everything smells like fish. Okay, we need to go all the way west. So, let's go left here. Extra, 
Let's see if there's another boat. Buy a paper, mister. Oops. Booty, there we go. All right. I love how they're just like adapting to it. Half the city's flooded. Let's go fishing. Might find some food. Series building. Extra, extra. <laughs> Newcomer kills poisoner. Gets away with it. <laughs> no one cares, yeah. City's in ruins. Lily, thank you so much. Basically, Venice with less bridges. <laughs> I bet it smells the same, yeah. Stinky business. I've heard that Venice smells. Floating street shine. Yeah, and then people just fishing everywhere and being on boats. It's cool. Oh, did I find this one? Good. Lily! Ah, from Tim! Thank you so much! Thank you for gifting that. That's awesome. Seven Oaks. Hey. That's where I needed to be, right? Hello, my dudes. Everything's still fishy? It's you. Whoa. The the boss blow a Those are some big <laughs> eyes, dude. What the fuck? It's not my fault you guys didn't check the warehouse. Uh, I know. No hard feelings, uh, I know. Impressive work finding the killer. Uh, maybe you can help me with another one. The name's Sam Shaw. Take your drink and let's talk. Didn't I hear something about a prohibition? Uh, of course. This place merely sells juice. Juice. Old fermented grape juice. <laughs> A tonic for your health. Now it's so, truly uh, empty. How about that business? <laughs> There's no Steve Buscemi was in this game. <laughs> that might be actually the title for my next video. <laughs> um. We can talk, but I don't work for free. Uh, I know, I know. Uh, I know. Still. The task is simple, so I can't offer a lot. I just need a few photos of crime That scenes. fucking face. What do you say? <laughs> Tell me where to find the bodies. Here are three file cards with names and addresses. Bring me photos of the victims, then I can start to get this moving again. I'll be waiting upstairs for those God, three photos. God, you are Please. creepy, my dude. Try to be discreet in this matter. Oof. Take care. Okay. A uh, little bird told me there are people in Oakmont who can help me leave town. Maybe, maybe not. What makes you think I know? He has tiny eyes in comparison. I've heard they're having a wake for Toothless Bob here. That may be true, but I don't know you from Adam. Prove you ain't some gumshoe. Actions speak louder than words. Maybe I can prove myself by helping you out with something. Solving problems is my specialty. Okay. I don't think throwing the Throckmorton name is going to help me in my favor. Fancy, don't worry. I expected a package to be delivered ages ago, but the courier ages ago. Found. Find out what's taken him so long. Here's the address. Got it. Nice. One more thing. If you don't find him, bring the package back, will ya? It's a crate full of the water of life, if you catch me. Water of life. Bye. Night, Trigger. See you later. Okay, so we have two tasks. Um, this one we need to map out. Um, Western Grimhaven Bay. So where is that? Oh God, I zoomed in further. Oh, Grimhaven was here. Western. This one, not far from the crossroads with Marsh Avenue. So either here or here. 
Or here. I don't know. I'll just put it on the crossroad. Okay. So that's one of the things we need to do. And then there was a side option. Ooh, a couple things. Met a police nun at the Seven Oaks Bar. Trying to catch a killer needs my help. Okay. We need to map these. The flat is in the southwestern Reed Heights. Uh, this one. Finland Avenue, south of the university. Vinland Avenue. Where is that? You guys- oh, here it is. I was gonna say, you guys see it? South of University Street. Oh, I see. So, here. Okay. And then... Central Salvation Harbor. Uh, Seven Oak Street between Octopus Avenue and Skipper Road. Um. Wait, is it here or is it somewhere else? This is Salvation Harbor. Seven Oak Street. That's this one. Between Octopus Avenue. This one. And Skipper. So here. And then we have... Southern Old Grove. God, he really is all over town. Beacon Street south of Century Avenue. This one. Well, we have work to do. So much to do. Wait, maybe we should look upstairs for items. Oh, or downstairs. Ooh, hello. Gross. <gasps> can I? Can I? Can I climb? No. Guess that's just for falling down. Can I just get behind the counter? He won't mind. Okay. There is nothing here anyway. Check your side quest for the books. Yeah. We can do a lot of stuff. Ooh, this looks special. Wow, nothing we can... Wow. There's nothing we can interact with here at all. Okay, map. It doesn't show everything on the map. Fuck. I just realized. We put so much effort in... Um, mapping all of these. Where'd they go? Oh, they're here. So I just need to activate the quest and then I can look at the map? They're not all on the map default? You can't do like show all markers? Fuck. Then we've been passing by all this shit already. Well, nothing in Salvation Harbor at least, where we are now. Here's one. Um, can I compass mark that? Oh, we had one here as well. Fuck. So s go straight, take the boat, and try and find this. They are on the compass, at least. That's good. Oh, 
I'm um, not worth using the phone booths over it. Because this is all really close. Wasn't there one in the water here as well? Fuck. The one with the research. This one. Is here. That's the one I want to check out. So we need to be on our boat for that. Unless... No, there wouldn't be another phone booth here. Okay, let's take the boat. More judgment? Maybe. It's on a poll for the subs only streams. Um, I was not planning to play it again. But if it wins that poll, then I'll definitely play it again. And then it will just, it'll just go to YouTube as well, so people can watch it. Can I leave this place, please? Thanks. Ugh, my nose. Allergies? We've also been going almost three hours, so... We'll just do a, a, a couple things here, a couple side quest things. Um, maybe this way? Yes. And then we'll probably stop. For today. I'll be back tomorrow. I might be a little bit late if my flight is delayed again tomorrow, but I'll let you guys know in time. Oh fuck, I fucked up. Oh god, that's confusing. Oh, camera, why'd you change? Yeah, EasyJet was like, it was like late four times in a row for me. But the last two times or so, it hasn't been late, so... Hopefully. Okay, I'm here. Can I exit? Oh, is it this? Maybe you need to take a picture somewhere here? Oh, Jesus! Oh, I'm far. Uh... Okay, you scared me. Oh god, there's something else. What are you? Oh my god. Well, did he just jump into the water? Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Good now. Ooh, lots of stuff. Nice. Okay. Poor man was trying to escape, but met his end after a single savage attack. <sighs> Scared me. There's more? Upstairs? Maybe? It's a plant. The plant scared me. Can I push this? Come on. Move it. Doesn't work. Card certifies that J.R. Nelson was a member in good standing of the Oakmont Photo Club since they joined after the flood. <laughs> okay. Oh, all evidence collected. There's definitely something here, though. What's making all this noise? 
god, the music's good. It's making me tense. Well, I guess I got what I needed. Fitanimous! Thanks for the seven months! Sorry, I was so distracted. <laughs> um, that one can go. Then there was one around here, right? I think it was there. God, I'm really liking this game. So cool! It's so fun! Maybe the dude that jumped in the water? Oh, maybe we're hearing him. Definitely seemed like there was more in that house, though, we could do. But if it says all evidence collected, it's good for now. Okay, got that. What was it? Which one was it? I think it was this one? Yeah. So it's right around the corner. Like here-ish? Can I talk to you? No? Ah, here we are. Former patient's shop. There we go. Oh, oh, what are you? You're special. You have lots of tentacles. Oh god, what is he doing? Hey, that was one. God, he's fast. He's fleeing. Okay. Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, Oof. the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. Ugh. Where's the music coming from? Those blood stains would definitely attract wild beasts. The dreams returned again, even stronger than before. I feel those things touching me, crawling, leaning towards my warmth. The doctor is dang obsessed with his theories, but who can help me? I'm losing my mind. Today I woke up and one of the creatures was under my blanket. I smashed it on the floor and stomped it until it stopped moving. But it was no more a dream. It's real. Neither coffee nor cocaine work to stay awake. Okay, help me. Twice I have almost fallen asleep and they appeared again. Creepy. Oh. oh, we're going down. Is that his body? I don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters. Nah, uh, hang himself. I don't think he's going to tell me much about those. Can't bear to stay awake any longer. Can't let them take me there. Every time I see them in a dream, they appear near me, touch me with their cold hands, sting me with those tails. There is only one way to end this suffering. Kay, forgive monsters. me. The music machine is so nice. Uh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Where are you running to? Come here. You little fucker. There, that's one. Where'd you run off to? Oh, come on. Is he healing them? Oh, is it black ink? <laughs> Fucking die! Okay, where's the other guy? 
Oh, I got you now. You're stuck. Okay. Got the last fucker. Oh, come on. How many bullets do you take? Or hits? Barely see. There we go. Okay. Now. Oh, who worth it? Nice. Okay, got everything here. Quite Disturbing dreams you complained about may be the result of of the Helminth infestation. Your description of the creatures you see and feel while sleeping is reminiscent of some parasitic forms of life. I recommend you follow the recipe below to prepare an ointment of my own devising. This should ease your sin this should ease your symptoms and help you get rid of any and all parasites. Okay, all evidence. Nice. That's what I like to see. Such nice music. I really like this. Oh, so much stuff. Nice. Alcohol too. We can uh, make some health kits. We'll just make one. Oh, we have so much now. There. That's good. I really like this. Ah, oh, that's so cool. That was a great little side mission. Nice. Um, God, it's annoying though that they don't all show up on the map. I wish they would all just show up on the map simultaneously. You can just scroll through all your... Can I? Uh, let's see. This is just because I'm in the case right now. Now all the other marks have disappeared. It's a little bit annoying they have to select the case and then look at the map. But we will save. There we go. That hurts. I always make two. And even it auto saves as well. I should not forget to back this save up because I don't think Epic Games does cloud saves in any form, so I need to move it to my other PC. Um but yeah, that was it for today. That was awesome. I can't wait to play more. Ooh, look at those little weird leech guys in the back there. Weird. Uh, I can actually do this. And that should roll some credits for us. Yeah, it's a really cool game. I can't wait to play more tomorrow. Yeah, sorry, Chris. Freakish, thank you so much for that donation. Thank you. Lily, Catch, Gala, Soda, Chromatic, and Skull. Thanks for the bits today. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who followed and who found me. Thank you for the raids as well today. Um, more uh, Sinking City tomorrow, and then I'll be back on Monday with more. And then Monday after this, after Sinking City, we'll try our first um, subs only uh, stream as well. I don't know if I'm gonna do how long I'm gonna go, but at least another extra hour afterwards. Just try it out and see. Um, should mostly be Sinking City next week, except for Tuesday, we're gonna do another Resident Evil 6 campaign. If you wanna see that, that's Tuesday. Thank you everyone who subscribed today and resubbed and everyone who gifted. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're at 1029. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Yay, yay. Thank you. Um, so yeah, for all those subs, we'll do an extra bonus on Monday and you can all, you can all tune in. So she'll be awesome. But 
first, more Sinking City tomorrow. So hopefully you'll see you then. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye.